welcome back to English with Lucy. I have a grammar video for you. This is very exciting. It's been a little while since I've last posted a grammar video, but this topic has been very highly requested. Today, we are going to talk about used to, used to, how are they different? Would, to be used to, and to get used to. If you have any doubts about the use of these, then this lesson is for you. And of course, I have a quiz. There will be a quiz at the end of this lesson for you to test your learning, so stay till the end. I have created a PDF for the lesson. All of my email list subscribers get the PDFs for my lessons. If you would like to receive the PDF for today's lesson, click on the link in the description box, enter your email address, you sign up to my mailing list and it will be sent straight to your inbox. I would also like to send out a special thank you to Shona from Perfect English Grammar. Her website helped so much with this video. It is the mother of all grammar websites. I've put the link in the description box. Check it out if you want to improve your grammar. Okay, let's talk about used to and used to. Firstly, let's focus on the pronunciation because I know this is very confusing for many students because when we say used, on its own, we use the z sound and the d sound, used. But to say used to is quite a mouthful. So you will hear speakers of English saying used to, used to. That means that both used to and used to are pronounced in the same way in normal conversation, used to used to. This makes it slightly easier for you in spoken English, but in written English you do have to be careful. Let's focus on used to. We use used to to talk about past habits that we don't do in the present or past states that are no longer true. Used to with the base form of a verb, also called the bare infinitive, but I'm going to call it the base verb here. I used to do yoga, but now I don't have time. I used to go to a language school, but I finished the course. I used to live in Seville, but now I live in England. I used to be a waitress, but now I'm a teacher. And that's an example of a state. That's not talking about a habit. Something like, I used to have short hair. That wasn't a habit, that was a state. So that's using used with the D at the end. But you will see that people use use with no D at the end. This is a point of confusion for many of my students. In questions and negatives, we use use instead. I didn't used to like avocados, but now I love them. Did you used to work at the corner shop? He didn't used to care about his appearance, but now he takes pride in it. Did they used to go to the same school as us? It's worth noting that when you use never, you do use used with the D. He didn't used to care about his appearance. He never used to care about his appearance. We will do lots of testing of this in the quiz at the end. But now it's time to talk about would. When somebody is telling a story about the past, you might hear them use would plus base verb. When I lived in Seville, we would eat lunch at 4 p.m. When I was studying Spanish, I would watch Spanish TV shows. Now you might think, ah, oh, so it's the same as used to. Not exactly. We can't use would plus base verb to talk about past states, only past habits. An example, I would have short hair does not mean the same thing as I used to have short hair. Or I would live in Seville does not mean the same thing as I used to live in Seville. So remember, would plus base verb is only appropriate for past habits or repeated actions. Let's move on to to be used to. When we want to talk about things that we are accustomed to or things that feel normal to us, we use to be plus used to plus verb ing. An example, I'm used to running in cold weather, so I don't mind it. I'm accustomed to running in cold weather. It feels normal to me to run in cold weather. 
Another example, my fiancé Will is used to working hard, so when we go on holiday, he becomes restless. Working hard is normal to him, it's what he is accustomed to. We can also use to be used to plus noun or pronoun. I live in the countryside, so I am used to mud, for example, wet soil. He is very handsome, so he is used to compliments, he is accustomed to compliments. My sister is annoying, but I'm used to her. Remember that here, the verb to be can be put into any tense. When I started waitressing, I wasn't used to carrying trays of drinks. True story, I dropped so many <laughs> trays of drinks. <laughs> Soon, I will be used to taking public transport, so it won't be so intimidating. Finally, we have to get used to. Different to to be used to. Here, you can think of to get as to become, to become used to. You form it in the same way as to be used to. We use to get used to plus verb ing or to get used to plus noun or pronoun. We use it to talk about a change in what we are accustomed to. Again, this can be used in any tense. At first, I didn't like stretching after running, but I got used to it. Or, I am getting used to public speaking. I am becoming accustomed to public speaking. Or, I hope I'll get used to driving in London soon. True story, I have been driving for four years and I still am not used to driving in London. I need to do it more to become more accustomed to it. Okay, I hope this lesson clarified some of your doubts, but to make sure it's fully in your brain, I now have a quiz for you. It's a multiple choice quiz. You can write your answers in the comments section down below, or you can download the PDF and do it on there. Number one, when I started waitressing, I needed help with carrying trays, but now I them by myself. When I started waitressing, I needed help with carrying trays, but now I am used to carrying them by myself. Number two, I every day, but now I don't have time. I used to read English every day, but now I don't have time. Number three, don't worry, this grammar is easy. You, it in no time. Don't worry, this grammar is easy. You will get used to it in no time. Number four. I was surprised to see her running. She, when I knew her. I was surprised to see her running. She didn't used to run when I knew her. Number five. When I had to get the train to work, I very early. When I had to get the train to work, I used to get up very early. Number six. When I was younger, I to the shop with my grandma to buy sweets. When I was younger, I would go to the shops with my grandma to buy sweets. Number seven. Whenever we went to London, we always in the Grand Hotel. Whenever we went to London, we always used to stay in the Grand Hotel. Number eight, when you were a teenager, did you to rap music? When you're a teenager, did you used to listen to rap music? Number nine, she didn't about fashion, but now she spends a lot of money on clothes. She didn't used to care about fashion, but now she spends a lot of money on clothes. Number 10. I don't like revising for exams, but I 
it. I don't like revising for exams, but I am getting used to it. Right, that is it for the quiz. Share your results in the comments section down below. I really enjoyed making this grammar lesson for you. Thank you again to Shona from Perfect English Grammar. Her website is in the description box. Don't forget to download the free PDF for this lesson. The quiz is there as well. We've got all of the explanations and examples. You can also connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram, my new website, englishwithlucy.co.uk, and my mailing list. I will see you soon for another lesson. Mwah!